it literally blows my mind of how this excessive hubris that a lot of that you see in a lot of women today. And that's what I wanted to yeah. ask you as well. Is do you think that just do you think that power is like the ultimate aphrodisiac for for what we see happening with our women today? Are they so attracted? Is it a tr the attraction uh, to power or is it something sinister that I don't know? Maybe you can help help me understand. What is it? Well, yes, I'll tell you what I think about this. So women, I say this as a woman, right? Women have an entirely different experience of the world and of life than a man has from day one. And they'll never understand and they'll never know what it's like to be a man. And here's why. As a little girl, think of you, uh, you, you know, any little girl that you hold near and dear in your life, maybe your daughter, your little sister, uh, your niece, something like that. When they're little, everybody loves to dote on little girls. They're so cute. They're so adorable. They're so sweet. So they, they tend to get a little bit of a princess treatment. And yep. our culture reinforces this a lot. I have a few pieces on my sub stack talking about like the Disney princess phenomenon and how it trains little girls to think about Disney Disneyfication. <laughs> yeah. How it trains them to think about consequences for their actions and things yeah. like that. Girls grow up hearing you're perfect just the way you are. You're amazing. You're a queen. You're a star. Mm -hmm. You can grow up to be anything. You don't ever let anyone put you down. You're at, you're beautiful at every size, right? You're everyone's a 10. How many times have you seen the girls on whatever all think they're a 10, right? Girls grow up. It never fails. Hearing, yeah. They grow up hearing this everywhere. It's in every song. It's in every movie. It's in all the cartoons. So they really kind of think that. And then on top of that, they're in a public school system. And when you get to the public school system, you have 80% of elementary school teachers are female. So not very many are male teachers. When you get to high school, there's a few more, but it's still overwhelmingly female. Uh, the public school system is really designed for little girls. Little girls are better at sitting still, being quiet, uh, raising their hand, writing. It's a very gynocentric, female-oriented thing, public school, right? Yep. Taking little boys and telling them to sit still in a desk all day and write things and, and verbal uh, communicate only verbally and things like that. It's tough for boys. Boys are more physical. They experience the world physically with their hands, getting dirty, touching things, seeing how stuff works, taking things apart, putting things together. Yep. That's what boys do. And that's how they learn. And that's how they experience the world. So already in elementary school, boys get the message that there's something wrong with you. Why can't you sit still? Why can't you behave? Why can't you stand in the line? Why can't you turn in your homework on time? Why aren't you paying attention? So we put them on ADHD meds, right? Yep. We put all the little wow. boys on ADHD meds. We tell them. So immediately they already think, okay, my single mom tells me I, I ain't shit just like my dad. Uh, yep. My teacher tells me there's something wrong with me because I can't sit still and write a paper like Susie mm. next to me can. Mm. So they're getting a wow. very early message that, some you're defective as a boy. Yeah, Something's not yep. right with you. You yep. need to be more like the girls. You need to please the women in your life because you probably go to daycare and have a female daycare teacher all day. You have your female school teacher all day. And then you go home to your single mom and your grandma at night for a lot of these kids. Right. Yep. 